Hey everybody. Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to do a reset for the HVAC system on this Keystone Alpine <laughs> and the in-command system. Sorry, getting, getting used to videos with my new found friend, buddy, roommate, Nightwatch. Um, Alright, so he's fascinated with the lanyard on the, on the GoPro handle. <laughs> A um, little background story real quick. So I came home from work yesterday uh, about 5 o'clock um, and I guess there was some kind of, I don't know if it was a power surge or a glitch or whatnot, um, but when I walked in, I went to my in-command system and I could not activate my lights uh, from this. So right now the lights are on. Um, come on, buddy. Uh, so you hit the light button there and this screen popped up. And it looked like this. Of course, it was completely dark inside the uh, the camper. So I would hit the buttons to the initialize position. And um, even, even in this position here like that, the lights weren't coming on. They're coming on now. Um, so I'll turn that back on so we've got light for the video. But uh, basically what I had to do was hit this, power it down. Uh, what I did was like I, you hold it down and then you get this power off screen. Uh, and I can show you that uh, here in a minute. But uh, basically just reset the panel. And once I reset the panel, then I was able to activate the lights. Um, and I know what you're thinking, like, what if that didn't work? No worries. As you can see, I turned the lights on in the kitchen with the panel. I can come over here to this switch here and I can turn them off and on. So yeah, if you have an in-command system, it's digital. If it goes out, you still have these toggle switches all throughout the camper. Um, uh, you've got another one over here. Uh, this light actually above the stove is not activated by the um, the in-command digital display anyway. So uh, basically what I did was, yep, power that off, reset that, and that worked. Um, at the time, I didn't really look at the um, HVAC to see what it was set to. Um, it was still warm in the trailer. Uh, the trailer does a phenomenal job of retaining heat even if you turn the, the heat off. There's actually been nights where I turn my furnace off because I, I'm pouring sweat because it's just dumping all that heat from the propane. So um, all that to say I woke up this morning and there's a little bit of chill in the air. My watch was reading that it was um, 64 degrees uh, which I couldn't really tell because I was buried under blankets. That's just how I sleep. Um, so it probably could have dropped into the 50s and I wouldn't have known other than probably waking up with a runny nose. So um, I went ahead and checked and sure enough, what my HVAC display was showing was this here, which was everything was off and I had this dash in front of the Fahrenheit. I did manipulate it earlier. So yep, I came in and what this looked like was my rear AC had the same thing. When you get that dash, that essentially means that your thermostats aren't getting a reading for whatever reason and they need to be... The system just needs to be reset. So um, I'm gonna leave it all in the off position just to prove when you go to heat, it's still showing the negative. Um, and then here, electric, I could have sworn this had a, a gas function, but it, I don't know, doesn't. So anyways, we're gonna go to off because we have turned everything off because we're about to do a full power reset on the, on the camper. So, um, yep, off, good. We'll come here, we'll turn the lights off. Just hit the master or overall interior because um, if you hit the interior button all the lights come on everywhere anyways all right so we're, what we're going to do now is power this down we hold that it says power off you click that you get the little wheel spinning wheel and then this will go off cool so with that off what we'll do is come outside and we'll just kind of work our way backwards i'm going to shut off power to the trailer and then trip the breaker to the unit um, at the pedestal outside. So come on, let's go outside, I'll walk you through this on how to get that HVAC reading again. Now I do have solar on this, which kind of is a very interesting thing. Um, and so let you all into the garage here. <laughs> Having solar means you also have to cut the solar power and that tripped me up the first time. Welcome to my little heated garage area. More on this in a later video. I'll get my flashlight out. Did I bring it with me? I didn't. I left it. But, oh no, there it is. Okay, 
So quickly run through here. Um, I'm gonna lift this up. Come on, get stuck on my feet. It's a little tight in here. As you can see, I'm just storing things. I don't really have any method to any of this madness. All right, I'll lift this up. There we go. Love, love shooting videos and doing all this one-handed. I need to get one of those like tripod things and just set up my GoPro. That's slightly annoying. All right, so that's hanging out there. Come in here. Instead of using the flashlight, we will use this light up here. They did put a nice little convenient light in here. Yep, I'm 6'5", but I'm like maneuvering around this area. Cool, turn the light on. All right, so you got my inverter up there, power or solar power source and main source. So, from here, I don't really need the gloves. Put them on just because things get cold, but. So, you can see the inverter there reading 13.2. Turn this off to the unit. And we'll turn this off. There we go, and then the inverter is showing that there. All right, so that's all off. Um, then what we'll do, we'll leave that up. We're gonna go trip the breaker, so we'll step back outside. It's actually not too bad. I think it's like 22 degrees today. It feels great, which is, I can't believe I'm saying that. Being from Texas, come out here. Well, I'm out here, it's going to give the propane tank a little shake. It's pretty light, but based off of feel, yeah, there's still a little propane in there. But all right, so we'll come over here. We'll check the uh, surge protector, the surge guard. You can see we've got all five green, so that's good. But last thing to do is I'm gonna trip the 50 amp here. So we yank this down. We see all the green lights go off there. All right, so then we're gonna give this uh, just a few minutes. I kinda, I don't know if it's needed and if you can trip it or turn it right back on, but I come from the dawn of all this electronic stuff and computer resets and hard resets and they always tell you, turn your uh, computer off and then wait like 10 seconds or 15 or 30 seconds i just give it a few minutes <clears throat> and that's perfect because we can talk about uh kind of this whole thing so we'll just do a walk around um yeah so one of the issues i have with that in command and the hvac system i've had this unit um here the alpine by keystone for going on five or six months now and this is now that i've been parked in place this is the second time i've had to reset my um my ac system and then on the move i'd say every third hookup um i had to do a full reset um every every two times i have to just reset the panel but every third time i hooked up and i'm telling you it was like clockwork i should have filmed it but i was just trying to learn stuff and i was kind of pressed for time um every third time I had to come, come out here and just completely reset the entire trailer. So it's, it is annoying um, with that. <clears throat> um, I, I took it in, they checked all the electrical wiring, everything was fine, but for whatever reason, you gotta hit reset. So from time to time. So I'm gonna now flip power back on here. At the, all right, breakers back on. We got all green. So we know we got good power source there. And I hope this works, if it doesn't work, well, we got problems because I can't use my propane for heat. I do have two electric heaters in there, which is why it wasn't all that bad. Um, I am kind of transitioning over to more electric heat. So walking over, we'll come back in here, return. I'm trying to just make sure, yeah, really it should just be these two, two things. What I should have done, I showed you this power inverter in here. Well, that was off outside, but that's okay. Okay, do a little turnaround. We'll just do everything back in reverse order. Turn that back on. Boom, inverter's going. We'll turn this back to our power on position there. 
and that's showing 13.5 it was showing 4 13.5 good okay we'll turn the light off i'll leave this up because if it doesn't work then i'm gonna have to come back under here and do a hard reset and leave it off for even longer because i have had to do that all right so now we'll come back inside thank you all for hanging with me this whole time and boom so that's already up and running so as you know we left that off um but it's now back on or did i not power it off i'm not sure um let's see here we're gonna go here boom there you go so we did the full reset <laughs> and uh you can see now that dash has gone away and the thermostats um a reading so it's saying in the front it's 65 degrees so my watch is pretty accurate i think i said earlier my watch said it was 64 and i woke up this morning 61 now in the rear is what it's reading in the bedroom so with that that's how you do it with the tail in the way can you come over here buddy just hey, okay you just need to get some attention all right yeah yep. over here this way here you go thanks bud He's so good. They say you can't train cats, but you, you can't do pretty good. All right, so you re, we reset this. This actually just booted up, so that's great. Um, we're not, we don't want fan. We want heat. So go to heat. Yep. You can set the auto, but anyways, we'll go back to heat. Nobody. 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 We're going to drop this down to like 72. And there you go. You heard, I don't know if you heard that, but my furnace just kicked on. I don't need it trying to heat up to actually i just want to bring it up to 70 it's, it's really nice out so all right <clears throat> there you go that is how you reset your thermostats and your hvac system uh in a with the in command system i have a keystone alpine i'm assuming i mean there's keystone there's uh montana's i uh i think cougar uh but i know the montanas and the alpines are pretty close um there's some other models by keystone but yeah it's um it's not too tedious if it was raining outside i'd be like very frustrated right now because <laughs> uh, i'd be soaking wet um but i mean it's not that big of a deal i guess i guess he wants to be in now um so not not that big of a deal it's not not too um task um saturated or anything like that uh but yeah what you want to do is basically three steps you go down below you turn off your main power and you've got to turn off your solar power if you don't turn off your solar power and you just turn off your main power um even if you turn off at the the circuit breaker at the um, electrical tower at your site you're still going to be getting solar power and that's still going to be trickling um you know it's charging your batteries but it doesn't fully kill your system so you've got to kill all power so three steps main power solar power power at the tower <laughs> um and then just give it a few potatoes um i've done it where i just did it for like 10 15 seconds to turn it back on and it wasn't long enough you just had to let all of the the i don't know the matrix bits just get out of the system so that's it um glad it worked for us for me because now i got heat again and um just to make sure because that propane put a little light but i did have hot water this morning so yeah there you go with that said i'm gonna get everything turned back on turn the soccer game on um turn my lights back on and uh yeah this was fun um if you have any questions leave them down below I'd be happy to answer from the little bit of experience that I have. Uh, what I just showed you, I spent, the first time this happened, I literally spent the better part of five to six hours having to figure out and, and uh, look through uh, forums online and everything. So hopefully this video is a one-stop shop for what to do if your HVAC system on a Keystone using an in-command uh, display, uh, basically, craps the bed on you. All right. So I hope you learned something. Um, hope I was able to help. All right. We'll see you next time.